Hello? Yeah, listen, promise me you're not going to be mad when I tell you what happened. Yeah, that's probably not a good way to start a phone conversation, but carry on. Listen, I'm like a beached whale out here, man. I got this mower. I got it stuck in the ditch, all right? There's so much power going to the rear wheels on this dirt road that it just got out from the back of me, and now I'm in the ditch. <sighs> How bad? Because... Uh, look, I'm going to need a tow or something. <sighs> Can you bring the boys over? Uh... I mean, there was a... We got rain coming in. The forecast is now looking good. We got to get this field mode. We got to get it done up. Uh, is it good enough to pull you out, or do we, or we're gonna need some of these uh, car jacks? Uh, we're gonna need to pull me out. I don't know what's going on here. I haven't gotten out. It's a pretty big drop. Uh, all is right. Is that Monsoor on the phone? Yes. What did he do this time? Yeah, I don't want to know. Oh man. All right, listen. Just get it done. I'm up here. I'm waiting. All right. Yeah, we'll get a few things together, and uh, yeah, we'll yeah we'll be done there. Not that I had anything good to do today, but yeah, sure, we'll come help you out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. So what's going on? Something about rain's coming? Yeah, yeah. Well, Monsoor uh, had too much going to the rear tire there, and he got the mower stuck. So it's in a hole or ditch or something out there. So I figured. Uh, if you want to come over here, I'll hand you a few things here off the shelf. We'll go and take some supplies down there. We might need a can of propane and grab one of those. Maybe a hose pipe in case we get thirsty and need to find a spigot somewhere. We'll grab one of them. Maybe a car jack and extension cord. It appears that our fuel cans are possessed. Okay. All right. Well, it's probably not a good idea to take those because they might blow up. Here, grab one of our one and uh, 25 gazillion black buckets over here and we'll take one of those. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So, so, so what? What do we need to do? He needs help. So I yeah. heard something about. Ray. Yeah, he got his thing. He got his tractor stuck. So I'm gonna go over here, grab the service truck, um, and I uh, got the tow bar. We got it laid outside here. So I'm gonna put the tow bar on there, and, and uh, so if you don't follow me up there, and help. And then I guess after that, we we'll probably need to. Uh, if he's been up there stuck, we're probably gonna need to uh, get a little help up there and try to get this stuff in before the weather rolls in. All right, well, I'll grab wind rower if you want to come back and get a mower after you get him out. All right. Yeah, I guess that works. All right, let's see here. Go ahead and shut up shop here. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Here, we'll take a right and take a left. All right, well, welcome to join us uh, here for the video, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. We are uh, working here at Full Tail Farms here in Madison County. It's the new, uh, what's well, one of our maps, custom build here, custom architect, Mr. Nick T. Uh, so this is a wonderful wonderful place. We've got tons of stuff out here wonderful wonderful places So anyway, if you guys enjoy the series, we've got some nice stuff going on here We just uh, foreclosed uh, just bought a foreclosure on our uh, north farm there You guys have probably seen our midtown farm and also south side farm So you guys can kind of keep up here with our uh, episodes as we kind of go forth It should be uh, should be fun as you can try to keep these um, you're trying to keep these going on in between uh, all of the different stuff here on the channel. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. You'll see more of these farm sim videos, and we will be sure to record and get some of these things out to you. So we just got a little bit longer here on the drive. Uh, should see Monsoor. He's got a tractor stuck down here in the uh, north part here. We got a bunch of uh, grass and uh, trying to make some hay here. I guess we're, well, no, I'm not even going to say that pun. That would have been stupid. 
just gonna keep my mouth shut, pretend I didn't say anything at all. All right, missed our turn too. So let's go ahead and let's uh, let's see. There he is. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's cut through the middle. We'll take the dirt road. Road less travel. I'm anxious to find out. We did finally, uh, I don't know if you guys were keeping up there from the first episode, first couple. Uh, we've got, uh, kind of went down here, did some ditching, and did a bunch of clear out around that one place we were kind of talking about where the grass had grown up. So we took it, cleared a lot of that off. Um, but we had some rain. He got muddy in there, so I'm almost kind of guessing he might be kind of stuck in that area, but we're going to hopefully not. It won't be too bad. We did all this corn harvest of the last one, so you guys saw that. It's already kind of been tilled back up, plowed back in. So we've already got corn's already covered up. Silage is pretty much done. So now we got some hay, got a few other little miscellaneous odds and ends here. We can go ahead and get some cattle in on these areas. So let's see here. Uh, well, I think we can see him coming into frame here. Yep, sure enough, that's what it was. Yeah, so we can see we got a lot of ditching out here, so we got all of that ditched out. We got all the grass and a lot of the club and all that crap in there, so we got all that taken care of. So it's, uh, we'll get out here to assess the situation, talk to Oman, so we'll see what's going on. Yeah, them tires weren't big enough to get you out, huh? Yeah, I was eating a whole chicken pot pie there in the cab, and I don't know what happened. There was just a lot of power going to the rear wheels, and that spun right. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and climb up here and give her a good backup here, see if we can get this thing pretty doggone close. Nick's going to kind of do some uh, a little head nod here when we're pretty close. I'll uh, look back here and then we'll pull a little forward and should be able to get this tow bar to hook up. Yeah, keep coming. A little bit more. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me hook it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, it's attached. Come on, 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 come on. Go. Oh, there we go. All right, go ahead and take it off there, Nick. All right, it's unnoticed. All right, let's see what we got out here. Everything good there, buddy? Yeah. Chick pot pie all over the place, but other than that. Yeah, at least you got a good. snack while you get back to work. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll see you in a bit. Grab your tether. Let's get to work on the... All right, I'm going to go drink the service truck back. And uh, we'll go grab the tracker and I'll meet you guys back up here.
right there everybody we uh finally got things down we got the mower up got uh tethering going we kind of got a three-in-one system going here so uh we'll give uh monsoor a call here on the uh the old walkie talkie see how he's doing on his he's uh he's about on the opposite side of me so i think he's actually going the other way so i'll cut up here next to the road and i'll let him know how far i'm going over and we'll try to try to meet somewhere here in the middle it's important you have a real tractor to do jobs like these well we're not driving a big bird <laughs> Well, I guess whatever we don't pick up and uh, what a grass we can always take down to the uh, proverbial sheeps that'll be coming in here soon. I think since the most of it is tethered, the balers will just accept it as such. waiting there for me yep make the turn and i'll follow you out uh, it's got to be a mower thing <laughs> <laughs> nick we left you a little surprise down here at the other end yeah i bet little dumpling yep Man, I could go for some steak and shake right about now. Can you tell I'm hungry? A little bit. My pie wasn't enough. He spilled half of it, so. Yeah, but it was a man-sized pie pie, so. It's like a uh, extra large pizza. Well, and honestly, I'm I'm getting real tired of John Deere. No you, you're probably the kind of guy that really enjoys those little ninety-nine cent banquet pop pop. Oh yeah. No, I go to KFC. Even worse. I like little White Castle sliders. Hey, it's the Colonel here. Would you like some grease with your chicken? Or rather, would you like some chicken with your grease? <laughs> Pardon me for the lawsuit that's incoming from the <laughs> Yum brand. <laughs> well, I do maybe. enjoy Pizza Hut. I need to move into the pepperoni production. Yeah, answer me this, Pizza Hut. Why is it six ninety nine for a delivery charge? The driver doesn't even get that money. It's just for the convenience that you might deliver some people. It's because you're from California. I'm not from California. I grew up in Arizona. Yeah, you know. You know, Pizza Hut's just a rip-off, honestly. You know who's a good pizza place that I've noticed? Pizza Online Company. What? Jeez. Yeah. Now, they're a small place. I don't think they're very big on the chain, but, like, the pizza they make, it's six ninety nine for a medium pizza, and, oh, my God, mama mia, mwah, it is some of the best damn pizza I've ever had. Well, hell. It's all handmade. You can taste it. You know, you know, even you can taste the dough and you know when it's handmade and when it's not handmade. When I have Pizza Online Company, oh my god, that is handmade. Yeah, well, you know what happens when you eat pizza that's sitting in the fridge for three days? You end I don't up know. I always finish <laughs> I was about to say, I'll finish that sentence for you. <laughs> so I've heard.
as we get ready to finish this up make sure you guys like make sure you subscribe here if you guys enjoyed the video if you uh we'll catch us here on the next one of your full sealed farms we'll be looking at doing some bailing we gotta get all this stuff uh gotta get the hay gotta get it all stacked up gotta get it bailed up uh and out of this field here for the rain sets in so if you guys will join us here on the next episode but for myself mr monsoor nick t we'll see you guys in the next episode where we say fellas peace, peace. we'll see you